have sea level rise on the ocean end and potentially less fresh water coming down on the, on the river end, that's gonna move the, the salt water up into potentially what had been a freshwater marsh. Hi, I'm Frank Sesno coming to you from the Planet Forward Studios at the George Washington University in the heart of Washington, D.C. You know, one climate concern in coastal areas all over the world is saltwater intrusion, salt water coming in where fresh water used to be. This week's webisode, in partnership with the National Science Foundation, features a marine scientist from Villanova University. Dr. Nathaniel Weston is studying the impact of saltwater intrusion on marshes and all the things that live there. We're in uh, Raccoon Creek, which is a small tributary to the Delaware River. Villanova University marine scientist Nathaniel Weston studies salt and freshwater marshes. He and his team are investigating how climate change and sea level rise may impact these productive ecosystems. For the organisms living there, the plants, the animals, the bacteria, that's a, that's a big change. Weston says as the Earth's climate gets hotter, ocean water warms up and expands, causing higher sea levels. And runoff from melting ice sheets and glaciers will dump even more water into the oceans. This is a surface elevation table. Um, and what we'll do with this is very accurately measure the elevation of the marsh surface at a couple of set sites that we have out here, 151. This staircase is uh, what we're using to simulate different sea levels. How are the plants responding to being flooded more often uh, and, and at a greater depth? All right, putting it in is the easy part. Getting it out is always fun. In the lab, soil samples are weighed and dried. Weston wants to determine sedimentation rates at the sites he studies to learn more about how the marsh landscape is changing. He says more intense storms and hurricanes could magnify sea level rise in coastal areas. Lots of people are living close to sea level. They're going to be much more vulnerable to these extreme events 50 years in the future. And you could expect to see much greater numbers of storm-related deaths and property damage in coastal areas. Healthy marshes act as buffers during a storm surge, nurseries for young fish and shellfish, and a water filtering system. Protecting them over time will be key to keeping us healthy, too. Dr. Weston is studying the marshlands and the tributaries of the Delaware River. But these sorts of issues are being felt all over the world. Planet Forward recently had the opportunity to travel half a world away to Vietnam. We went with an organization called Partnership for International Strategies in Asia. That's also a research entity here at the George Washington University. And we visited a community where the women are combating saltwater intrusion in their rice paddies. So when the sea water comes in, we have to deal with it and our solution is to uh, buy uh, limestone powder uh, and we use that to put in the soil. So this is how one community is trying to adapt to the changing world around it. We went to Dr. Weston to ask him about the science. So, so once the soil is contaminated by salt water, it, it contains ions, things like chloride and sodium, that are in the salt water that are now in the soil, which are going to make it difficult for plants to grow. Really, the only way to get rid of those is to flush those ions out of the soil. So adding limestone, calcium carbonate, which is what limestone is, can potentially help you get some of those ions out of the soil, particularly sodium. The limestone is helping that community in Vietnam we visited, but what they told us there is where they used to get two rice crops a year, now they only get one, have been for the last seven years. They blame it on a changing climate. So they are doing what they can to fight and to adapt, but they are fighting a losing battle so far. We want to hear what's happening in your community and what you know about if you have evidence of a changing climate and if there are things that you or your community are doing or research that's going on to adapt to all of that. Upload it at planetforward.org. We're taking the best ideas, featuring them on webisodes like this one, and ultimately on Planet Forward on television. It's all at planetforward.org.